So now it's time to talk about the fun part, which is tools. You don't have to spend a fortune on them, but you do need to have specialized tools to really make the difference in the completion of your job. For me and my toolkit, not that long ago, I had a pair of these kind of auto strippers. I had a pair of side cutters or dikes as people call them. I didn't have snap on ones, but I had some kind of cheap ones and a pair of pliers that I kind of used, overused these tools for electrical wiring, which is the hack way of doing things. And you know, I, I did what I did. Talk to me, what did you learn? These are things that weren't in your quiver that long ago. Yeah, no, they weren't. I mean, you know, I've, I've definitely gone through different kinds and different, you know, like what works better, what are not very good, what are very good, mm -hmm. right? And I know this seems like really scary, like, oh my God, do I need to buy all these things to wire my bike? And the answer is no. However, having a couple of these or a few of these things makes your job so much easier. The right tool is out there for every job. And one of the things that makes your job easier is having the right tool for it, right? Mm. These are the things that get me through every day at work. And frankly, if you're gonna be wiring your own motorcycle or more motorcycles or any sort of electrical stuff, some sort of iteration of these you need, in my opinion. Now, we've got everything from like some pliers to some side cutters to different kinds of like wire crimpers, wire strippers, and just more crimpers for different kinds of terminals. So we work on a lot of different bikes and we have a few different kinds of terminals for amperage or for different, you know, things that need more current to pass through them. There are different sizes and they're different types. And then there's testing and things too. For me, like this is where it starts. Like, like for me, I had a test light and the test light my dad taught me how to use when I was just a kid was quite useful to determine what had power and what didn't, or when you had power on one side of a fuse and when you didn't have power. This worked fine for that. I use my test light a lot, and one of the reasons why I have the test light and the multimeter out here is I know that they're scary, right? If you're not really into using a multimeter for checking out you know, power at certain things, just little, little quick... Resistance and power. Yeah, yeah, then you can use a test light and uh, that's a little bit easier to use. It's got a light, you can tell what's happening. It, it basically just lights up when it gets the full 12 volt power, it yeah. lights up and it, it doesn't when it doesn't. And so you've got a, it's an A-B tester, which is great, but you wanna get more precise. Then you've got a multimeter. It's the most valuable tool in my toolbox for electrical work, period. For me. Absolutely. Okay. You know, I have one of these inline spark testers. It's really helpful. I mean, you can pull the plug out, put it back in the spark plug wire and see if you have spark, but sometimes spark doesn't happen under a load. And so that's, and by that he means compression. When you've got yeah. when you've got compression like in the it's cylinder, sparking now, but it, it looks like, fat and white when it's just in, in atmospheric air. But once it gets compressed, then you lose spark, and you realize visual. You should have some spark coming out of a plug. So this is a quicker, more reliable. This way is to a really spark. helpful tool as well. I use this one. You know, figuring stuff out, diagnosing. These are all my little back. I've got a paper clip yeah. and a. So yeah, this is just a little little box of paper clips and for sticking pins. in the plugs and things when it's yeah right. back probing wires to see if i've got mm. power or anything on them so this is just something that you'll basically collect over time and then this is my friend what is this <laughs> these are for terminals and connectors and removing terminals from connector tools uh, and all, all that right. stuff it so looks like it looks like a hot wire kit yeah if you're gonna hot wire like yeah. a lock pick kit and then you always have to have a good set of leads. Leads, yeah. And, and then what that allows them to do is to use these little alligator clips to clip into connections or clip onto components to either run power, check power. Like that's super useful stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this is for? I use that for soldering a lot. It's magnetic so I can put it on anything and then sometimes it's kind of hard to get two wires to not move around so you just pinch them right in there. <sighs> that would be way better. I use that old school one that has all the multi-arms on it. Yeah, yeah, that. this one's a lot easier to because use. And you can put it in a vise yeah. too. When you're soldering, oftentimes, you feel like you need seven hands to hold everything so that it's all perfectly. We'll get into the details of how to use each one of these tools in a kind of later segments. It's important to know the proper way to use them. Uh, if you have any feedback for us or any ideas, make sure you comment. This is one of those where commenting about your favorite tool for electrical wiring, it helps us too. We're here to learn as well, so. We sell all of these tools here, yeah. and they're not expensive. We, we, we kind of specialize in looking for the inexpensive tools that are still really, really quality. Each one of these pieces is really useful. All right, guys, write in the comments. Let us know if you have any questions about this. Understand that there's going to be a million different ways to get this done. Feel free to give us your feedback. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not going to ask you for that. What I'm going to say to you is, if you want to see more videos and you want to learn more of what we've learned, you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, 
go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We wanna teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.